Hello there, this is John V, software evangelist at Jscape, and you're watching another Jscape MFD server tutorial. Today, I'll show you how to configure MFD server to fetch files from two SFTP servers and then forward those same files to a trading partner. Let's begin. Log into the MFD server manager, navigate to a domain, and then go to the triggers node. First, let's create the trigger that would download files from our two SFTP servers. Add a trigger, give it a name, and then select the current time event type. We now specify the time we want this trigger to fire. Because we want this trigger to download files at 1 p.m. every day, we just enter 13 in the hour field. Next, let's add the trigger action that would download files from the first SFTP server. We want to download multiple files, so let's select SFTP regex file download. Let's specify the first SFTP server's IP address, enter an existing username on that server, and then its corresponding password. Let's just use wildcard for the expression type for now. And let's just download all the files from that user's root directory. So we enter asterisk dot asterisk. We want to grab files from the user's root directory, so we just enter the forward slash. And then we specify the local directory where we'd like those downloaded files to be stored. Okay, okay. Wait a minute. Uh, that was just for one SFTP server. Let's add another SFTP regex file download trigger action, but using parameters for the second SFTP server. So this is going to be the IP address of the second SFTP server. And this should be a user on that second server. We'll grab all files from the user's root directory again, and then store the downloaded files to the same local directory. All right, now let's see if it works. Yep, seems like everything's fine. Okay, at this point, we've created the trigger for downloading files from the two SFTP servers. Now, let's create the trigger that would forward those files to our trading partner. So, we create another trigger, give it a name, and this time we want to use the external file download event type. Now, because in a production environment, there could be several other triggers that might be downloading files from other remote servers, we might want to specify the IP addresses of the SFTP servers we're downloading from. That way, this trigger will only respond to external file downloads coming from those IP addresses. Let's now add the trigger action that would upload each of those downloaded files to our trading partner. That should be the trading partner file upload trigger action. Let's select our trading partner. We're of course assuming we already have an existing trading partner. For the local file field, we need to use the file variable. This variable represents every single file downloaded from those two SFTP servers. So basically, every single file downloaded from either of those two servers will execute this second trigger. And every time this trigger runs, the file variable will contain the complete local path of that particular downloaded file. Got it? Let's just leave this remote directory field blank so the files will simply be uploaded to the trading partner user account's root directory. That's it. Now you know how to configure MFT server to fetch files from two SFTP servers and then forward those files to a trading partner. 